We have seen in the past user interfaces with displays that appear to be round, but if you were to look at the enclosure, the enclosure itself is even a rectangular or square. And this means that you actually inside the enclosure is a rectangular display. It's just the cutout, the aperture that is made into a round shape. And all the information that the customer wants to display is made to appear inside the circle. Now, it's on a wall. Nobody's going to think at second class that is not a round display because the information that they're seeing is actually in a circle. So as far as you're concerned, that is a round display, but that's not quite true. But what we now see that way styling's coming along, people that design enclosures, etc., they want to have a, a round circular display, but also want the enclosure to be round as well. They tend to be those in the automotive industry, uh, particularly for motorsports, like bikes, for instance. Um, if you look at the traditional dial that you will see in an instrument cluster on a motorbike, they tend to come into really nice round enclosures and they'll have a, a round display in there, which is in a sense just a mechanical display. So it's a dial with a display. You've got a lot more vers versatility with a display because you can actually change your screen. You can change the color of your dial. You can change the type of information on there. Now we can offer round circular displays that will fit into existing enclosures. So we have two sizes that we see that are quite popular. Um, and that is the 4.2, which is quite a large circular display, and a 3-inch. Now, these are the two sizes that we tend to be getting more inquiries over for that type of application. The customization service that we do for these rounded displays are no different to what we are doing at the moment with the rectangular displays. So we've had loads of experience with customizing TFD displays for applications that take the rectangular displays, and the same can be said for circular displays. So there are no concerns there for us at all. Well, I've seen that uh, there is a premium to pay for this circular display. So now, if you can imagine, imagine that a rectangular or square display, they come off a, a mother glass, which it will be a certain size. And it all depends on how many units you can get out of that mother glass, which goes a large way to determine the cost of the display itself. If you look at the circular display, out of a mother glass, again, which tends to be rectangular, there's going to be a lot more wastage because you're not taking the display right up to the corners. It's just the round bit, you can sort of bit around the side that will go to waste. And of course, the tier one manufacturers also want to recoup that, that waste. Um, and so you'll see this, there's a slight premium on the cost of a, of a round display and really purely for that reason. It just opens up so many avenues for them to look at the design differently and come up with some aspirational designs. It's here it, now, it's present, and we're just ready to go. So do contact us.